Welcome to this week's episode of Joyful Mom. I am so excited to bring to you financial freedom for your children. It's gonna be a great episode. We are talking about setting your child up to be financially wise for the future. It's gonna be fabulous. When we're talking about their future, one of the things that I find is so important is praying over your children, right? How can they have a great financial future if we haven't been praying for them along the way? So below in the description, you're gonna see a link to scriptures to pray over your children. Go ahead and download that. It's really just a fabulous way to make sure you're speaking into your children every night. All right, so stay tuned as we talk about how to set your child up for financial success. It's going to be a great episode. As always, please like the channel, subscribe to it. That way you get notifications every single week that I put something new out. And of course, share with other moms because who doesn't need to know how to set their children up for success? All right, so like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the episode. Hi, welcome to Joyful Mom's episode on financial freedom. My name is Tammy Lewis, and I'm your host today. I am an entrepreneur, a mom, a lover of Jesus, a lover of all things natural, and I love pouring in to moms and helping them raise the next godly generation. So let's talk about this, financial freedom. Why are we talking about financial freedom? Because it is so important for your child's success in life. Many of us live paycheck to paycheck. You get something in, you spend it that month, you have to just kind of scrape and save for the end of the month, and then you do it again. As a mom, I want more for my child. I want them to have savings at the end of each month and then save that for the next month and it just builds upon itself. Why do I want that? Because so many struggles as adults are because of finances. It's one of the number one causes of divorce in society is financial struggles. So if we can train our children to be financial stewards, then they learn how to deal with little And then they can also learn how to deal with much. You know, the word's very clear that if I give you a little and you're a good steward of it, then I'm able to give you more. And so that's what I want for my children. I don't know about you, but I want my children to have financial success. I don't care if they're millionaires. I really don't. (laughs) I want them to be happy, but to live within their means. How do we do that? I teach them and train them with a specific method that Dave Ramsey taught and my parents taught to me, I've taught to my children and now they are embracing it at the Dave Ramsey style. So we'll get to that in just a minute. Right now, let me tell you about my son. My son is now 17. Uh, He's a senior in high school and he's been raised with financial wisdom. We've taught him how to handle things. This past year, he took time... Dave Ramsey's course, uh, Foundations. Oh, I wrote it down and then I forgot what it was. What was it called? Foundations in Personal Finance. That's what he took. took Foundations in Personal Finance. It is Dave Ramsey's homeschool curriculum. It is fabulous. I don't care if you homeschool your kids or not. I would highly suggest you get a hold of that curriculum and make your child watch walk through that course. It... My child had a pretty basic foundation of finances, but this took it to a whole new level for him. He actually, my other son is now going to go through it this year, and he looked at me and said, Mom, I'd like to go through it again. What class does your child ever want to go through it twice, right? (laughs) He's never done that. He's like, I really want to do it again because I really want to make sure that I'm grounded in this principle. It was interesting enough. It was practical enough that he understood and it gave enough future vision that he understood what he wanted to do. So now he took this whole class. It was a semester long class. Anytime he sees, so we're in the military, right? Anytime he sees somebody like, especially a young guy in a really fancy car, he looks at me and goes, well, there's a broke airman. And I just laugh because it's so true. That airman has most likely financed that vehicle and cannot afford to drive that vehicle, and he's getting into financial struggle because of it. He, my son is also set up to go debt-free into college. He goes, Mom, I want to come out with no debt. That's important. We were planning on possibly taking, well, I don't know if we were going to take some loans. We were hoping not to, but 
he's dead set against it now. So there's not that struggle of, but I really want to go to this college. Mommy's like, no, I need to do college debt free. And that came from years of training him about finances. All right. So how can you do that? You've got some little ones, right? You've got maybe a two-year-old, a four-year-old, a six-year-old. Maybe you have a teen. How can you train your child to be financially successful? Ready? It's called the envelope method. Super simple. You may even know it. You may already know this. So if you do, great. Let me encourage you to implement and use it because we know so much, right? We've got so much that goes on in these mom brains of ours, but sometimes implementing them isn't the easiest. Envelope system. Super easy. If you give your child any sort of money whatsoever, I don't care if it comes from chores, if it's an allowance, we're not here to debate what's the best method of raising your child with money. I don't care if it's gifts for Christmas, whatever money they have coming into them, you put it in envelopes. How this works, you grab a plain old empty envelope, a plain marker. My point right now that I'm trying to make, I'll just be plain and clear with it, don't make this harder than it needs to be. You don't need a fancy envelope. You don't need a fancy label maker. I didn't have a, a white, not whiteboard. I have a whiteboard marker. I couldn't find a Sharpie. Use what you have, <laughs> okay? Don't overcomplicate things. Oh, am I getting you dizzy? Okay, <laughs> so take whatever marker you have and you write down on four envelopes. Ready? First one you write down, tithe. The number one thing you want to train your children is tithe. And how much do they give? According to the word, it is 10%. You write it down for them. The next one you want to put down is savings. Why? Because, again, they need to save for their future, right? Savings, 10%. So if you think about it, they just got $10, right? So far, $1 has gone into tithe and one dollar into savings. That doesn't seem like a lot, but please remember you're teaching the process. And then when they get $500 for their first job, they know 50 of it goes into to tithe. Yep, that's right. <laughs> and 50 of it goes into savings. Then, you wanna hear the other one I really like? Charity. Why charity? because the world is so much more than about ourselves, right? Charity is super important. And when you teach your child, it's not just about me. It's about giving to somebody else. Find a really good, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Charity. Well, there's another word, but oh well. That pours into people, that does fresh water for a village, that gives chickens to people in need, that helps men and women get off of um, sex trafficking like or slavery. Whatever your child wants to give to, they can give to their local school, their local YMCA. The point is find something that you and your child connect with and go out and save the world a little bit, right? That's something we can do with our finances. Yes, your child is giving $1 at that point if they've gotten 10. But again, you're teaching the heart. So tithe, Char savings and charity. The last one is their spending money because of course that's what they really want is to spend. Oops. Yep, I've got that right. Okay. They still have 70% to spend. That's a huge amount. And if you write it down that way, they're like, wow, I've actually kept a lot for myself, right? I've given 10% away to tithe, which is God's anyways. I'm giving 10% to my future and I'm giving 10% to somebody else in need, I still get 70%. When you put it that way, it seems like a lot. If you simply tell your child, you're gonna give away $3 and you're gonna keep seven, they're like, but I wanted the extra three. But it sounds like a lot more when you tell them, you're keeping 70% of your money. So make it a positive thing for them, right? So that's the envelope system. You literally write it down, and then when they get that $10, you do have to do the work of breaking it up into money. And you literally put the cash in there, and you watch it grow. Now, you may open a savings account. Of course, you take the tithe to church when you go. Open that savings account and let them go put in that $3 after a few months. 
Like let them see that that savings grows. Now I will tell you, um, Dave Ramsey suggests putting $50 a month into every child's like a financial future, a money market or something. Why? Because that money grows. And having done that for years now, my child is set for a very nice income and it's, it's for his retirement. That seems like a far away away, but it will come in so handy as long as we keep putting in $50 a month and then he'll take that over when he gets a job. Super cool, right? Um, as you do this, I do encourage you to pray over your child because this isn't just finances. This is their future. And as you pray over them, that helps instill in them the reason that we need a future. They hear you praying. They hear, and you speak it, right? Let them know. I pray for you, kiddo. <laughs> Like, let them know or they won't know. Um, we're setting them up for success. So those scripture verses, remember I said at the very beginning, if you want something to pray over your child, there's a link below here that you can download a bunch of scriptures to pray over your children because that is the best thing we can do for their future. But this is pretty cool, and it is absolutely commanded in the word to tithe and be financial stewards. So you're setting your kiddo up for a financial success. I hope this was helpful. I know it's so simple, but it's something that I feel we can all implement no matter what age your kiddo is. You can start this at 15, easy. You can start this at 21. Honestly, you can start this mom on your own if you need it for you. I hadn't even thought about that, but if you're not saving each month, if you're living paycheck to paycheck, I'm telling you, use the envelope system. Go back to the basics. It works. All right. God bless. Uh, please join the Joyful Mom discussion group. There are some amazing moms in there who have different suggestions. We talk about this in that group. And other moms bring in their own suggestions, what they do for their kids. So join the Joyful Mom discussion group. Again, that link is below as well. And thank you. Good luck with your finances. I hope this was blessing, a blessing for you. I'm stumbling over my ending right now. I'm sorry, but this is real. This is me. I'm not always perfect with my videos, <laughs> but know that I love you and I care. God bless. Have a great day.